On an average day, around 1.4 billion cups of coffee are consumed worldwide, which means that most of you out there can't start your morning without a little bit of a caffeine kick. Today we're here at Origins Roasting to find out exactly what goes into the science behind your favorite cup of joe. Where does coffee originate from? Coffee, amazingly, originally is from Africa, Ethiopia to be precise. Uh, coffee came from the uh, region inhabited by the Oromia people and they still grow coffee there today. In what form do the beans arrive here? Big bags full of green coffee all around you. The coffee gets processed on the farm. Coffee when it grows on the tree is, uh, looks a little bit like a red cherry. Uh, when it's ripe, sometimes yellow, depending on the variety. And then they strip off the outside of the fruit or sometimes even dry it with the fruit on the outside of the bean. And inside the cherry are two small beans. And those two beans uh, then get processed uh, and eventually come to us in sacks as you see them here with about 14% humidity and green, more or less. Let's see how some coffee beans are roasted. So I've just weighed out 12 kilos of green coffee. This is an El Salvador bourbon from a farm called El Borboyon. I'm going to load it up into the hopper, and as soon as the temperature is right on the roaster, then we'll get the roast started. Uh, we drop the green coffee into the roaster, and that transformation process starts. The kind of critical parts of the roast tend to be towards the end of the roast rather than at the beginning. So the beginning part of the roast doesn't seem particularly interesting. You're basically trying to heat up the coffee and get it to the temperature where the chemical transformations actually start to happen because of a particular temperature level that you reach in the roasting process. The coffee's getting nice and brown. Okay, guys, we're going to drop this out very shortly. Okay, so now we've got this El Salvador bourbon just dropped out hot out of the roaster. Uh, absolutely fantastic roast. It's looking beautiful, nice and even in color. Um, should be absolutely delicious. From here, we're going to blend it together with the other coffees. For the Origin Espresso blend, this will get blended with five other coffees, each of them individually roasted. We'll pack them into bags, and then if you want to be really technical about it, optimally about eight days from packing is the, when that coffee is going to be at its best, between eight and ten days. And then it's all up to the barista to make what's extraordinary come out into the cup. Hi, Joad. What does it take to become a barista? A barista is someone who specializes in dealing with coffee and making coffee from espresso um, to what we'd call filter or plunger coffee. I think it takes a, a lot of the foundations that are instilled into you by training, but then a lot of passion and practice, and you've just got to continually care about what you're doing. Could you give us an overview of the training process? And the training that we do for people who uh, want to become professional baristas is a lot of uh, talking about coffee, what it involves, how to work with the product. I believe that if you're working with something, you need to understand it further in order to be able to work with it better. So we talk a little bit about where coffee's from, sort of there's a bit of mythology and history behind it, and then the foundations of how to make a good cup of coffee, and then putting that into a lot of practice. What's the science behind making a really great cup of coffee? Yeah, there's certain things that we talk about, like extraction. Uh, you're basically all the time trying to get a balance, a balance between a grind that's either coarse, where the pieces are very big, or small, where the pieces are very small, so that the shot runs a certain way. And you're looking for the shot to run um, 60 mils in 25 seconds for a double shot. So that's very, very important. You can also run a single with a different size uh, basket inside your port filter. Okay? So with a different size basket, you'd have a single, and that would run 30 mils in 25 seconds. From the bean to the roaster, the barista to the cup, the journey of coffee is one that is both scientific and magical. Mm. 